Welcome back. I'm John, an old YouTuber. Let's try to continue. I did read about this uh, Cobham armor, composite armor last time. So I have another PDF about uh, composite armor. And the weather is nice, but it's very cold outside. It's soon 12 o'clock. I'm eating some uh, biscuits, so we're making a little bit noise. I just made a small read list. I have to read about composite materials after this. But even this would take two, three days just to read this. So we do that. Let's get the started. Composite armor. The Soviet T-64 was the first mass-produced tank with composite armor. The Leclerc tank is equipped with Nimra, non-explosive reactive armor. 1. Depending on the operating state, the Leopard 2 has various extended armor elements such as bomb protection for Thetop, cage armor, extended minor protection, a 6M, or additional armor in the form of composite armor mixes or AMAP. Placent Sand Cat Light, 5T, Military Vehicle Featuring Integrated Composite Armor Body Vehicle Add-on Armor Kit Manufactured by Composite Shield The British Army's Challenger 2 Main Battle Tank Uses Kavorm Armor Keramic Aramid Composite Laminate Armor Ballistic Test Results Keramic Tiles for the ATF Dingo SICADUR Silicon Carbide Tiles for Vehicles, for example Moig Piranha Composite armor is a type of vehicle armor consisting of layers of different materials such as metals, plastics, ceramics or air. Most composite armors are lighter than their all metal equivalent, but instead occupy a larger volume for the same resistance to penetration. It is possible to design composite armor stronger, lighter and less voluminous than traditional armor but the cost is often prohibitively high restricting its use to especially vulnerable parts of a vehicle. Its primary purpose is to help defeat high explosive anti-tank, heat, projectiles. Heat had posed a serious threat to armored vehicles since its introduction in World War II. Lightweight and small, heat projectiles could nevertheless penetrate hundreds of millimeters of the most resistant steel armors. The capability of most materials for defeating heat follows the density law, which states that penetration of shaped charge jets is proportional to the square root of the shaped charge liner density. Typically copper, divided by the square root of the target density. On a weight basis, lighter targets are more advantageous than heavier targets but using large quantities of lightweight materials has obvious disadvantages in terms of mechanical layout. Certain materials have an optimal compromise in terms of density that makes them particularly useful in this role. Dot, two, history. The earliest known composite armor for armored vehicles was developed as part of the U.S. Army's T-95 experimental series from the mid-1950s. The T-95 featured silicious-scored armor which contained a platia-fused silica glass between rolled steel plates. The stopping power of glass exceeds that of steel armor on a thickness basis and in many cases glass is more than twice as effective as steel on a thickness basis. Although the T-95 never entered production, a number of its concepts were used on the M60 pattern, and during the development stage, as the XM60, the silicia scored armor was at least considered for use although it was not a feature of the production vehicles. Two. The first widespread use of a composite armor appears to have been on the Soviet T-64. It used an armor known as Combination K, which apparently is glass-reinforced plastic sandwiched between inner and outer steel layers. Through a mechanism called thixotropy, the resin changes to a fluid under constant pressure allowing the armor to be molded into curved shapes. 
Later models of the T-64, along with newer designs, use a boron carbide-filled resin aggregate for greatly improved protection. The Soviets also invested heavily in reactive armor, which allowed them some ability to control quality, even after production. Among NATO nations and allies, the most common type of composite armor today is Kavorm armor, first developed and used by the British in the experimental FV 4211 tank, which was based on chief tainted components. Kavorm uses multiple non explosive reactive armor plates. Nira, which sandwich a layer of elastomer, like rubber, between two plates of steel armor. This was shown to dramatically increase earth resistance to heat projectiles, even in comparison to other composite armor designs. Kavorm was such an improvement that it was soon used on the new US M1 Abrams main battle tank, MBT, as well. The need to mount multiple angles plates along with an outer steel layer to protect the armor array, give Est Challenger and Abrams their slab-sided look. The Soviets forward slash Russians had a similar composite armor to the West's own era, with rubber sandwiches between plates of steel. Three, this armor was confirmed to be inside the T-72BS Super Dolly Parton armor, but is suspected to be inside the T-80 as well. Since it is unlikely the Soviets would put Wersuma in their premier tank dot design. Kavorm armor defeats heat warheads by disrupting the high speed jet generated by the warhead. Theater steel burster plate detonates the shell and protects the composite array from the blast, increasing Therma's multi hit abilities. After making it through the burster plate, the jet penetrates into the first NER plate and begins to compress the elastomer. The elastomer quickly reaches maximum compression and rapidly expands, pushing the two steel plates in opposite directions. It is the movement of the steel plates that disrupts the jet, both by feeding more material into the jet's path and introducing lateral forces to break here jet apart. The effectiveness of the system was amply demonstrated in Desert Storm, where not a single British Army Challenger tank was lost to enemy tank fire. However, one was destroyed by friendly fire on March 25, 2003, killing two crew members after a HESH projectile detonated on the commander's hatch causing high-velocity fragments to enter the turret. Dot. Four. Kavorm type armor is currently in its third generation and is used on modern Western tanks such as the British Challenger 2 and the American M1. Abrams The Abrams is also unique in its usage of depleted uranium armor plates in conjunction with composite armor, increasing overall vehicle protection. The Leopard 2 or 4 is similar in its use of tungsten inserts. Use. All modern third-generation main battle tanks use composite armor arrays in their construction. While many of these vehicles feature the composite armor permanently integrated with the vehicle, the Japanese Type 10 and Type 90 KY Maru MBTs, French Leclerc, Iranian Kara, Turkish Altai, Indian Arjan, Italian Ariat and Chinese Type 96 forward slash 98 and Type 99 tanks use a modular composite armor, where sections of the composite armor can be easily and quickly switched out or upgraded with armor modules. The adoption of modular composite armor design facilitates far more efficient and easier upgrades and exchanges of thermo.soviet forward slash Russian main battle tanks such as T-90S, T-80US and the Chinese Type 96 forward slash 99S use composite armor in tandem with explosive reactive armor, era, making it hard for shaped charge munitions such as HEAT projectiles and missile warheads to penetrate the frontal and a portion of their side armor. The most advanced versions of these armors such as the Relict and Contact 5 armor provide protection not only against shaped charges but also kinetic energy penetrators by using the explosive force to shear the projectile apart. Applique armor has also been used in conjunction with composite armor to provide increased amounts of protection and to supplant existing composite arrays on a vehicle. 
the German Leopard 2 a 5 feature distinctive arrowhead laminated armor modules that was mounted directly onto the turret composite arrays increasing protection markedly above the previous 2 a 4 model. Composite armor has since been applied to smaller vehicles, right down to jeep sized automobiles. Many of these systems are applied as upgrades to existing armor, which makes them difficult to place around the entire vehicle. Nevertheless, they are often surprisingly effective. Upgrades with Mexus ceramic armor to Canadian M113S were carried out in the 1990s, after it was realized that it would offer more protection than newly built IFVs like the M2 Bradley. Improvised. In 2004, American Marvin Hemeyer used an ad hoc composite armor on his Komatsu D355, a bulldozer, killdozer, used in a rampage in response to a dispute with the city he lived in over a zoning issue. Therma, at some places a foot thick, consisted of a layer of concrete sandwiched between layers of steel successfully rendering the vehicle impervious to small arms fire and small explosives used by law enforcement in an attempt to stop the vehicle. See also a map Caval Mama Combination K Compound Armor Kangshan Armor Mexes Plastic Composite Disambiguation Pycrete. References. Leclerc main battled. Good. <coughs> so, they finished it. Now it's 12 minutes. We have the news in the Danish uh, new news. I will go watch that. The sun is shining, so now it will be hot in my living room. It's 30, 30 degrees. So I have to take this jacket off a little bit because it's getting too hot. But I saw some links to uh, some Chinese tanks, Chinese and something. I'm gonna go look at that, but uh, I have to watch uh, the news.